If your mods aren't showing up in your Sims 4 game, then you're in the right place. Stay tuned to the end for those of you having an extremely difficult Sims 4 mods experience. We're just going to get right into it because I tend to go on and on unnecessarily. So first off, open The Sims 4 and go to Options. In here, you'll want to go to Other. Make sure that check marks are by both Enable Custom Contents and Mods, as well as Script Mods Allowed. This will enable all mods for your Sims 4. Next, you'll want to go ahead and hit Apply Changes, and if you are expecting mods, check out the View Custom Content button. If there's a list here, your mods are already loaded. Restart the game and check the View Custom Content button again. If it doesn't have your mods listed, then continue on. If your mods still aren't showing up, then it's time to pull out the big guns. We'll be using PowerShell, but I'll be giving you the instructions to make sure everything goes according to plan. At the bottom of this video, there's a PowerShell script to check for mods section. Copy the code in this section and open up PowerShell. Paste the code into PowerShell and then click Paste Anyway. You can read through the code if you're suspicious, but it's very simple and almost even English readable. Once it's pasted and you've clicked the button, hit the Enter key. If you see Found Mods folder for The Sims 4 in and the location, then that's not the best. It means the mods folder is there and your game isn't recognizing the location. If you get that the mods folder wasn't found, then this is interesting because you just opened up The Sims 4 and it should have made the mods in the folder. Try restarting the game again, and if your mods appear again, then great. Otherwise, continue on. For days, weeks, months, you've been sitting in silence, your screen frozen, your sims unplayed, your entire creativity paused. You've been waiting for a voice, a, a sign, a helping hand, but all you found is your own hope just fading away. I see you. I hear the silence that's been your only answer. And I'm not going to let that be the end of your story. With every unsolved problem, every unanswered question, I'm here to break the silence. I just want people to know they're not alone in this. Me and you, let's change that together. Let's turn the silence into stories. Let's turn the frustration into fun. And let's turn those problems into playtime. That's what I'm here for. Open the Documents folder and go to the Electronic Arts folder inside there. Navigate to your mods folder and make sure you see files ending in .package or .ts4 script. If you don't have any of these, then check out this video here for how to download and install mods onto your Sims 4 game. If you already have mods and the game should be reading them, then continue on. For this next section, check out the part of the description that says Check for OneDrive remnants on machine. Copy this section and then paste it into your PowerShell window. Of course, paste anyway again. If you get any notification that OneDrive is installed somewhere, go to the Start menu, type OneDrive. Right-click it and then go to Uninstall.
From here, you'll simply search for OneDrive in the search bar. Then click the three dots next to the app and click Uninstall. This app doesn't uninstall like other apps. It's completely silent and then just disappears from the apps list. Once it disappears, be sure to check out this video here because there's a lot of things to fix since OneDrive was actually on your machine.